Hey, this is Ty Sullivan, Dapper RV here at A&L RV Sales in Jackson, Tennessee. I want to look at this, 23, Grand Design Imagine, this is XLS, 21 BHE, it's a bunkhouse travel trailer. We're going to be looking at roughly 25 feet in length, that's from your tip to stern. We're also going to be looking at under 4,700 pounds dry weight. So very towable for a lot of different vehicles, as long as you fit that minimum, right? So we'll dive in. All right, 2023 Grand Design Imagine XLS. Most obvious thing, it's gonna be different from your XLS on the exterior. It's gonna be how your front cap is different. So there's an Imagine right next to it, fiberglass front cap. This one is a smoother style. It does not mean that they've gone inferior on you. Because if you come up and you bang this, you're still going to know what I'm talking about. Plus that seam at the top is further down. Instead of sitting at the top like most travel trailers have, you're going to have less of the driving grain going underneath that seam. And they still finish off our front just like they do the fiberglass caps, just with a slightly different material. So they're trying to keep weight and cost as a factor in your XLS to get people camping. They want to get as many people camping as possible, right? Right up front. Good amount of storage. You can tell that height is there as well. So you don't have to kind of bend as far down as some trailers. We have an aluminum substructure that's shown off and how well they finish off the interior even in our pass-through storage. It is a magnetic hold back on these doors, but it is a traditional thumb latch versus a slam latch. 20 pound propane tank, electric tongue up front. And then our secondary side of our pass through is where our connections are gonna be. So they're inside of our insulated area because our floor underneath is gonna be enclosed. We do have solar on top. You're gonna to see that solar charge controller as well as your connection for a shower. So hot and cold right here if you are pushing the seasons they include a 110 there at the top so you can use a heated hose going in but it's just as easy to fill up your tanks before it gets down to freezing temperatures at night dual axle this is prepped for tire pressure monitoring you do have to get a module to go with it so just heads up on that you're gonna have to ask for the module and roll that cost in loose spring our Goodyear tires, and then our connection points in the rear are wired together. If you'll notice, our gates are not exposed. So even though we have our pulls for our gray and our black, they are cabled back so that the gates are inside of that enclosed underbelly. So a whole lot less likely to freeze, if at all. We do have manual jacks on the four corners. Full bumper, regular size spare, Walkable roof with the ladder and backup camera prepped. Water heaters at the rear. We do have LEDs being used. And I went ahead and opened up our campsite. So we do have that kitchen kind of underneath the bunks. Good size awning. LEDs underneath the awning. Speakers as well. Half fridge outside with a Three burner, pull out, cast iron top. So that's gonna go on back, much larger than what you're gonna see with a 17 inch. So those that do need to feed a lot more, a little bit faster, it's a way for you to do that. And earlier, I was messing with that. Most of these, you grab that bottom tab and flip it up. This one, you need to push in to get it to release. And it's a little tight, because it's from the factory, but that's your secondary port just like your shower at the front on your camp or roadside they do have hookups for TV if you want to do that outdoor entertainment and then of course our lines head warranty on our tires definitely ask about that three-year structural warranty on anything grand design and feel free to ask how they are framing the windows and putting gaskets in and things along that line Small things like that make a big difference in the longevity of a unit. Our stairs, some people want 
more of a stable stair or solid stair that comes down. You can do so still with these. You would just leave these folded up and under, but technically this is an upgraded stair. So it's not the heavy metal ones that you're accustomed to seeing. These flip up and out of the way a lot easier and they're anti-slip. So let's hop in. So getting right into our 21BHE. It is Murphy at the front with couch. The flip down for your drink holder. TV pre-installed and all of theirs are Roku's. I love how they finished off the kitchen with everything kind of matching with the gloss finish and that glass inserts. Your real style doors. Our fuse box is set up for lithium. So you can upgrade that. It is a single sink, not a split. This particular one, shoe cubby underneath our dinette. And that center leg comes down extremely easily. You're going to pop those two collars and it is almost, well, it is a pneumatic. You push it down, let it raise itself up. That is it. Even in this size unit, we're going to have a full vented through the roof. So you have a thermostat control and this is a compass control. You can link that to your phone. 12 volt fridge. Those are taking over and for those that don't think they are, even in Grand Design's fifth wheels, they're getting rid of those duals as an option. They're even getting rid of some of the residentials as an option and going to larger 12 volts because of the availability getting a lot better and just how they get used. Oversized bunks at the rear. You're gonna see each has the lights, each has its own 12 volt charge ports. Decent windows. I have that kitchen still open so it doesn't look like that. Privacy curtains as well. And then some pantry storage too. So they've done really good about using the space that they have. And just please notice how well everything's finished off. The seams on corners like this, that's what's going to tell you the craftsmanship level and attention to detail they're really trying to fit. In our bath, even though it is a split where you have bunks on one side, bath on the other, they've kept it as deep as they can, give you more floor space. Additional hanging rod at the door. Ceramic foot flush with a soft close lid. Some linen storage to the side of the shower. And these showers have a pull. That is to work like a squeegee. So if you have additional moisture, and you will if you're taking a shower, that builds up on the inside of that. When you close it, it squeezes that water down and into the drain and doesn't let it just ambiently fill your camper up with moisture. This moisture is definitely the enemy inside. Still finished off nicely. They've done what they can to give you as much counter space as they can. Corner medicine cabinet and exterior window. The only thing that always makes me kind of go, huh, we only have a four inch fan there. Now that's easy for service group, dealer, etc., to change out. I would say go ahead and do an eight inch. It's just a lot more convenient. And then really quickly, Let's lay down our bed and see how this looks. Okay, so with the bed down, you're gonna notice I still have plenty of room to get in on that side and to get through the door with the bed if remaining down. So if you're taking a longer trip, I would say if you don't need that extra seating, you just leave the bed down and not have to worry about making it up. We have reading lights over top, extra shelf. Everything's nicely finished off. Cubbies on each side for those that have CPAPs and or additional devices you want to charge at night. A good amount of wardrobe space and drawers. All of our drawers too. Full extension. And one thing to notice, you see the back wall is a fabric that matches the front there. So you're going to have the same aesthetic if it's up or if it's down. 
And this sofa does not jackknife, it just rolls down into place. A lot of details here. Additional privacy curtain that they've managed to get into our 2023. Pretty impressed. So there she is. Grand Design 21 VHE, and that's our 23 version in an XLS format. You hit a lot of little things that Grand Design just does, period. Solar's on top, enclosed and heated underbelly, and a 25-foot unit. We have those gates, we have the connections all behind, and that insulated package, plus just the construction and quality of Grand Design in general. Please go into detail if you're looking at a Grand Design to see what that really means, and their backside or their service side too. It's been great. They've won awards just about every year for every camper they've ever made, and that's on the dealership side, not just the customer side, but what the dealers like to see. Solar on top again, multiple seating and arrangements you can do inside that pneumatic dinette. Roku TV standard, on and on and on and on this goes, right? So if you have kids and or larger pets even, I would say look at this. You can put kennels or get them into those beds in the rear, have a dedicated space for them. Just something to consider. I appreciate you guys watching. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a comment. Let me know if this would be something you would want to get into if you have kids, grandkids, etc. Or again, like I said, just a larger dog even. Have a dedicated space for them. I'll see you guys next time.